Hello and welcome back to the last part of the kitchen tutorial. Uh, in this one we're going to finalize everything. Um, I want to start with a nice composition for the camera. Um, right now it's a bit... Uh, I'm not really happy with this one. I don't know why, but the lens is 44 and I think we should uh, change that to 34. So it's a bit wider. And we zoom in. And I want a little bit of space over here. And uh, I don't want to see this one, so uh, I'll try to get a bit closer. Let's a little bit out. All right. Um, maybe the y-axis can shrimp a little bit. So I think I'm happy with this uh, view, and I totally have no idea how it looks like with the first render. So I'm putting this to 250. And uh, I want to render it with the GPU, and I hope that doesn't give any problems. I have a GTX 560 with one and a half gigabyte of RAM, so I hope that will work. Um, yes, so I will hit render and see you in a couple of minutes back. All right. So this is the first result of the first test render. As you can see, this image is really rough. Uh, there is noise in, some uh, fireflies, and uh, I think you can increase it still a thousand, but you still have these white dots everywhere. So there is some good model work, but the image doesn't look really uh, yeah, promising. So we need to fix a lot. And one of the things I think we should start with is this backplate. Uh, it's causing a lot of light and uh, it's all a bit the same color. There's not really some, some depth in the image. So how can we change that? Uh, if we have this image, I think the best thing to do is bring it back to this amount. So, and oh yeah, these plates here, maybe we can increase that till oops this is good bring that back a little bit something like this all right and oops oh it's going to with two i think all right um yeah we can drop that a little bit so yeah, starting it, we dropped some parts in the second layer. So I don't know what the thing is doing, but uh, um, let's have a look. Yeah. Anyway, we drop this in the second layer, and we drop this one uh, with this desk also in this layer. So if we hit render what is happening okay it's not really bad I think it's pretty good so I think the big problem is if we go back to this render is with this plate so we go back here hit render again yeah definitely so I'm bringing also the wooden bar right there so we hit render again okay I want to change some colors in the node settings so I go to node editor and give this a different value of 0 0.08 so there's more reflection uh, this should be good and I want to add this light right here and hit render and we should wait till we have some more samples so uh, it's a bit noisy but uh, I'm not really uh, afraid for this render so you can see in this one what's the difference there is really really yellow so it's way too bright and because we put this back plate a bit backwards, you can see. Oh, it's going to it again. <laughs> All right. So 
So there is some chains, and that's a uh, important difference. So maybe we should put it uh, a bit more in the back, backwards. But I don't think that's neat. I also want to uh, put this right there to have more reflection on the desk. Hit render again. So we really have the idea that there the light from outside is uh, casting some reflection on this das desk. Um, it's still a bit too much. So yeah. Oh, that's maybe because I put the light over there. So what I will do is make this two hundred and point one. Just in case, I bring this to this place. All right, so bring this back. This is not. This, this is good. And let's have a look with these two. So I think we wait till it is to 250. We always have to wait a long time. Okay. All uh, right. I didn't know it with this light is still costing so much. And this one too. The setting, yeah. That should be good. Uh all right. We put it back, and I want to take a look at the floor, or check if everything is changed. This is changed, and this one, point zero eight. I think that's better. All right, so the floor, yeah, we bring that to the second layer, and hit render. All right. I don't think it needs some chains. I think this is all right. Whereas we're not seeing it a lot, then here are some cool reflections. And we can see the white lines, what in my opinion is pretty uh, believable. So we go back and turn that. Okay, but what do we need to change? <laughs> well, some parts. So this is one this one this one come back this layer and we have to fit this again till there all right uh, for this new render I want to increase this to 550 and I want to make the clamp to a value of 5 and that will uh, reduce the noise uh, so we have a very sharp image it will do some tweaks with the uh, pixels I don't really know what exactly what uh, Thomas Dingus did a very nice tutorial on it and uh, it works so it was pretty good so we're still rendering on GPU I'm saving this work so what I want is some clean nice table and same for this desk without all the noise so think we should just render it again see you back in a minute so this is the new render we created so you can see there is less noise uh, fortunately we can't show the render before I think oh yeah, th this one and now it looks uh, <laughs> where is it render result yeah way better uh, but we need to do some compositing uh, to make it more shiny and uh, sellable. <laughs> so we go to the node editor. Node editor. Uh, we need to use nodes and backdoor at output viewer node. And we put that in. And we have the image. We'll zoom in a bit. 
Um, the problem with this image is, is that it feels a bit, still a bit too uh, flat. I want to be, I want to have more shiny stuff in it and uh, some different colors. So it's not going to be a very complicated no tree. So the only thing I do is add a glare and we put it in. So this is what happening. We turn that off. We don't need it now. Um, yeah, this this is a bit too much. Uh, but we want to use streaks. I'm making that two, uh, or maybe five. I make this two. So it's already a bit different, but still way too much. Um, so, so we need to change some more. And just by pulling this slider we can make it a bit so there is a nice transition between these uh, window frames the 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 sun there while well, this emission plate and this room so uh, that's a good thing so you can turn it to one but I like to have it around 850 850 so we can do some more stuff uh, add distortion lens distortion only for the for these hooks to make it a bit smoother 0 0.01 but it's not really necessary some people really like the uh, like it how it is and i want to do some more color management rgb curves so maybe less brighter or just a new one so maybe we can use it later add color uh color balance and this one's only for uh for what you want so if you want to have a warm room you can put these sliders more into the yellow uh, it like this so this has a kind of a mood but if you want something fresh you can put it more in the blue and it looks more fresh and maybe a bit darker or there make a bit more purple so I like this one pretty much maybe we can be a bit brighter so yeah uh, I think this is the final image and of course you can add as many as you stuff as you want uh, maybe more of these uh, more pens or more bottles so well, you know how to model it so it's useless to model 10 different bottles and you're only watching and you think yeah, yeah I know how to do it so I think it's time to get wild and make your own variation uh, make a cool kitchen and uh, blow me away <laughs> yeah even when you use a slider you can tweak that so anyway uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you in more tutorials okay see you later